doorbell brawl as we go to the ring for the official introductions. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. And it is for the Riot Cabaret World Championship. Introducing first the challenger, the man with the black heart of gold, Nico Angelo. And his opponent, he is the Riot Cabaret World Champion from Old Street London, the master of the half crab, Michael Oku. You ready for this, Bradshaw? Now the formalities are out of the way. And Sean, think on this, at the start of 2023, just a year ago, neither of these men had even set foot in a riot cabaret ring. Here we are at the end of the year and they are competing for the biggest prize we have to offer. That's what happens when you turn up and you steal the show. You get put in the position to fight for gold. That's exactly what both of these men have done with a 100% record. Referee showing both men. What is up for grabs here as if they need reminding one of the most beautiful belts in the wrestling world the riot cabaret world championship not just a belt the prestige that comes with it unmatched only one can leave with the prize as the bell rings and this match underway will michael oku come to regret offering this opportunity to Nico Angelo. Angelo went to the limit with Michael Oku at the Ultimate Riot two months ago. And that was after going through four or five other competitors. You've got to remember, Nico Angelo bested Chuck Mambo to earn his place in that match. Yeah, it wasn't a, a fresh Nico Angelo on that night. He has had two months this time to prepare not for five opponents, but for one. What we've seen from Nico Angelo in Riot Cabaret in all of his matches is just an unmatched intensity. And those were matches with no gold on the line. I'm excited to see what Angelo is going to pull out here as they lock up. Just the effort, the exertion that both men are putting into this opening tie up here just shows you how desperately both men want to gain an upper hand. In the early going, Angelo trying to force Oku into the corner. Oku pushing things back towards the middle. Angelo turning things around in the corner. Referee at this point going to require the break. Angelo with something of a wry smile on his face as he lets Oku go. I think the real offence then was Nico staring a hole in Michael Oku. You see it in Nico Angelo's eyes. Now I think he's going to be giving Michael Oku the fight of his life at the Jingle Bell Brawl. There is something when you look into those eyes of Nico Angelo that is quite simply terrifying, I think, for 99.9% .9 of the human race. But Michael Oku relishes this kind of challenge. Nico Angelo has earned the respect this year of the Riot Cabaret fans. There were a good chunk of the audience who were cheering him on two months ago. There'll be a good chunk cheering him on in this match against Oku as well. Shoulder block, sending the champion down. Sending the champion a message as well. Nico Angelo promised that the fog was coming for Michael Oku at the end of Monster Smash. That's nice. Oku going to the rope, crisscrossing as a Hurricane Rana. And go back on his feet, but only just temporarily as he drop kick from Michael Oku. And that's where Michael Oku thrives when the pace quickens. Oku with charisma oozing from every pore. Such a popular competitor, the master of the half crowd. You're going to see that early. Yeah. yeah, it was too early. Angelo with too much strength. Those legs. We need to do some work on the legs on the lower back. 
That was the move that Michael Oku won the Riot Cabaret Championship with. Back in October cover. Oh, Oku increasingly getting high profile bookings all around the world. A true world champion is Oku. Angelo could bring it all to a screeching halt here. At the moment, he's looking pretty good for it, wrenching that neck of Oku. He's just telling Michael Oku a message. I'm not even sure he's looking for that submission, just showing him who's in charge in this early phase of the contest. Angelo trying to pull that left arm behind the head of Oku, just contorting the body of the Riot Cabaret men's world champion. May not get the submission here, but he knows he's wearing him down. And Oku needs power in those arms if he's going to hook Angelo into that half crab. Angelo forcing Oku to stay down on the canvas. The pain coursing through the body of Oku. And I think Nico Angelo, we said about stealing the show and whether the championship was going to change his attitude, and he's just slowing this down, grinding Michael Oku down. Yeah, you can see, you know, I heard a couple of boos there for, for Angelo, but again, Angelo's not here to get, get a five-star rating from someone, he's here to leave with a championship. And if Michael Oku's on the floor, if he's in a hold, he can't start building up the pace. That's how we've seen Michael Oku win matches at Wright Cabaret. Yeah, there are very few who are more dangerous than Michael Oku when he builds up ahead of steam. Angelo determined to prevent that from happening and that body slam will help. Angelo now, middle turnbuckle. The oh, elbow. What an elbow. Deep into the Cover. heart of the champion. Yeah. Will it win the championship for Angelo? No. It's a smart, a smart, smart start from Nico Angelo. I think he knows that stamina is the key for Michael Oku. And I think just conserving that strength but being on Michael Oku is going to be a key to victory here. Angelo just stalking the champion. Oku with that significant pain in his left arm, left shoulder. After Andrew has been focusing oh. on that, but Oku did well there. Got the elbow up, gets the boot up to follow up. Now Oku off the turnbuckle. Oh, try for the drop kicks. I think he baited him in a little bit there, did Nico Angelo. Yeah, he's a, a real cerebral competitor. Is Nico Angelo just swatted that drop kick away? I think that's a perfect word for this start of this contest, Dave, and that is cerebral. A surgical start from Nico Angelo. Angelo standing tall, his shadow above Michael Oku. And Oku oh. fires back. Angelo took a little too long, and Oku now looking around, regaining his bearings, realizes this is an opening. Oku staring. Michael Oku looking around the Clapham Grand, he's going to try it, he's going to get it! The Hurricane Rana from the top, here comes Oku with a drop kick right into the face of the man with the black heart of gold! Nico Angelo wisely rolling out of the ring just to catch his breath after that drop kick from uh, Michael Oku. Oku starting the clap among the Clapham Grand crowd, and you know what that means. He is lining up with An Angelo down on the outside. Oku will take a run up. Oku gonna look for the Fosbury flop. Oku with that Olympic style run up, nails it. And that right there, Sean, could be the turning point of the match. I think the referee needs to check on Nico Angelo because I think he just got knocked loopy and rightfully so. Yeah, his head, I don't know if his head maybe even hit that step that's right near him on the way down. Either way, it's a hard floor, hard landing for Nico Angelo. It's hard to tell from our vantage point, but it looked nasty for Nico Angelo. Angelo rolled back in. He is the prey right now. Oku is the predator. Oku on the top turnbuckle. Angelo is a sitting duck for Michael Oku. What's he going for here? Oku! Oh! 
the frog into the crossbody from Oku and it gets him 2.9 but it doesn't get him free. Agonisingly close for Michael Oku. Michael Oku though, pointing down at the leg of the challenger. You know what is going through the mind of the master of the half crap. Angelo kicks him away. Oh, Oku, the knee into the jaw. Oku, as I move on his feet. Yeah, he adjusted in midair. He saw oh. Angelo moving out of the way, but he didn't see that coming. I think that was a tooth. Angelo, clothesline. Oku down in the corner. And Angelo brings the boots into the chest of the champion. Pace starting to quicken now. Nico Angelo starting to find his feet after that Fosbury flop. Angelo lining up Oku. Voidwalker oh. from Angelo. Is it enough to make him the champion of the world? No, it isn't. Michael Oku kicks out of the Voidwalker. This world championship match continues. Even Angelo at this point, who's been in control for some time, long periods of this match, he's having to drag himself to his feet here though. And Angelo, with Oku prone down in the middle of the ring, is going to ascend to the top turnbuckle once again. Sneaker, what's Nico Angelo going to go for here? Oku up to his feet, runs towards Angelo to avoid him. Kick from Angelo. Another one. Oku sends him to the rope. Crisscross in the oh. knee into the temple. Oku moves up. This time gets him. Oku hooks the leg to retain. No left shoulder up. But Oku going to transition straight into the half crab. Can he turn him over? Yes, he this can. Could be it for Nico Angelo here. Oku with one of the most painful submission holds in the game. Trying to force a submission from Angelo. Nico still in this. Oku cinching down. Look at the torque on the lower back of Nico Angelo. No one locks in the half crab like Michael Oku. Angelo, though, is stretching, crawling, and he gets to the bottom rope. How much did that take out of Nico Angelo being in that hold for that duration of time? And how much damage did it do to the leg of Nico Angelo? With so much of his offense relying on speed and pace, could be a huge part of Nico's game eliminated. Yeah, that's a good point. I think both that, the left knee, the lower back, both of them are going to be absolutely torturing Nico Angelo after an extended period in the half crap. Angelo can barely put any weight on that left leg, as far as I can tell. And Oku going to be ruthless in pursuing that. Oku with the bullseye on that leg now. We're expecting a thoroughly absorbing world title match, and we're getting one here. My God, what a strike from Angelo. No. Oku didn't go down, though. I don't, I mean, I don't know how. He collapsed into the ropes, but he didn't go down. He's coming back for more. Oh, what an elbow into the left ear of Angelo from Oku, and another strike from Angelo. God, some of these shots from both men are unreal. Angelo fighting his way off of the ropes. Oku comes back, drop kick. Just jarring the neck of Angelo. Oku to the ropes. Angelo follows him. Oh. The knee sends Oku all the way to the outside. Angelo may have hurt himself as well. Oh, what a shot that was with the knee. Oku with an awkward landing. Just as Angelo had in that same part 
of the ringside area a few minutes ago. The damage that's been done to Nico Angelo's leg coming into play now. And you've got to think of the pain that Nico Angelo is fighting through just to get to his feet at this stage. Yeah, once more, not really able to get any kind of weight on that left leg, he's trying though, the adrenaline flowing through the veins of Nico Angelo, Oku rolling into the ring. Kick from Oku. Angelo knocked off his perch. Oku, maybe looking for another Fosbury flop. Angelo's on the apron, he's gonna catch him. What is gonna happen here? Oh! Oku, his spine dropped on the ring apron for goodness sake. Now Angelo sees his opening. Nico Angelo off the top, catches him with a cutter. The neck of Oku twisted in an inhuman way. Angelo with the pin and Oku kicked out once more. Angelo looking to put the exclamation point on this. Angelo. On the brink of history here against Michael Oku. Shooting star press. That is absolutely mental. Angelo. Angelo. Oh. No, no, no. Oku kicks out. I thought we had a new champion there, Dave. This is wild. Wild for the world championship. My God. The fans. Loving every second. But again, for Nico Angelo and for Michael Oku, it's not about delivering a good match, it's about getting the win. I believe Angelo is telling us all the Void Walker's coming. No, it's not. Here's a roll up. No. Oku again is going to look for the half crab. Counter, counter from Angelo, inside cradle, the counter of the counter from Oku, oh. and, and Angelo kicked out. Go on a kick. Oh, another one, this one right in the face. Angelo's going to look for the split personality. Oh, oh my God, dropped on his head, dropped on his head, Holy and shit. Oku, Oku is still the world champion. Here is your winner. Michelangelo falling right on his head. I think the medics were going to need to check on Michelangelo here. Angelo dumped on his head. What a counter of the split personality from Michael Oku. Oku is flat on his back. Oku is still the world champion, but as you say, we're going to need some medical attention, I think, for Nico Angelo.